shit, I'm gonna tell you boys, that's some of the best goddamn music we've had to Country Bunker in a long time. Well, uh, sorry we uh, couldn't remember the wreck of the old 97. Oh, why, well, hell, you guys can learn it next time when you come back. Bob, about, um, our money for tonight. That's right, uh, $200, and you boys drank $300 worth of beer. Uh, well, like, when we first came in, uh, the bar lady never charged us for the first round, so, like, we figured, you know, beer was, like, complimentary for the band, you know? Oh, no, no, uh, uh, uh Well, I'll just go out and take up a collection from the boys. Well, I tell you, I sure would appreciate it. I say this trip is nowhere, man. I say we gotta quit. What? Quit? Well, I wish you guys would make up your mind. Otherwise, I've got to call Mr. Ronzini at the Holiday Inn and get her old gig back. Back at the Armada room? Listen, they want us to pay for the beer we drank, so you guys better split. The next gig is going to be dynamite. Huge. You'll see. I say we give the Blues Brothers just one more chance. Why not? If the shit fits, where? Scoot over, goddammit. Boys look a little upset. Hey, man, don't worry. We got a couple of days. We'll get the Penguins tax money. I mean, look, we got an appointment to see Mr. Sline tomorrow. Everything's gonna be all right. Let's skate. Excuse me, gentlemen, are you the good old boys? Yeah, that's right. I'm Dr. McElroy, lead singer, driver of the Winnebago. Well, listen, I'd like to talk to you some, but running very late. My name is Jacob Stein, the American Federation of Musicians Union, Local 200. I've been sent here to see if you gentlemen are carrying your permits. Or what? Your union cards. May I see your cards, please? Suppose we ain't got no union cards, and we go in there and start playing anyway. Now, what you gonna do about that? You gonna stop us? Stein? <laughs> You're gonna look pretty funny trying to eat corn on a car with no fucking teeth. Listen, let me talk to Bob, the owner. See if we can put your band on contract waivers for tonight. I don't want you to move from this spot. Just let me handle this. We'll, uh, we'll talk to Bob. Get in the car and start her up. Now, you know you boys owe me a lot of money for that beer you drank tonight. God damn it. Bob, we love playing here tonight. My brother's writing out an American Express traveler's check to cover the extensive bar tab. Well, I sure would appreciate it. I better check up, see how he's doing. See, I have to sign it, too. I usually sit in the car and write it out on the uh, glove compartment lid. Okay? Give me a pencil. <laughs> The union? Union? What the hell, Union? Those boys skipped out of here owing me a lot of money for beer. What the hell are you guys all dressed up for? We're the good old boys. You're the good old boys. <laughs> 